Your health is our priority at Vitalite Health Network. Due to the current pandemic, we are pleased to welcome you to this virtual event that has been prepared to mark the official opening of the expansion of the Dr. Georges L. Dumont University Hospital Center in Moncton, New Brunswick. It is also the opportunity for us to recognize the extraordinary work of an entire team. Hello, I'm Dr. France Desrosiers, President and CEO of Vitalité Health Network, and I'm pleased to officially welcome you to the new expansion of Dr. Georges L. Dumont University Hospital Center. Due to the health restrictions related to the COVID-19 pandemic, we are going to take a virtual tour of the facilities that have been in operation for a few weeks. On behalf of Vitalité Health Network, I would like to thank everyone who has played a role from near or far in this achievement of this large-scale project. From its planning in 2007 to its launch in June 2020, it is thanks to the incredible efforts of a large team of people that this major project was able to come to fruition and allow the network to continue providing healthcare and services to the public. Carrying out commissioning was already complicated in normal times, so the commissioning that was carried out during a pandemic by people going above and beyond in their daily activities is even more remarkable. We are so grateful for your commitment to making this a state-of-the-art facility for healthcare and services. Thank you also to our patients. Your comments and recommendations form part of the decision-making in the implementation of this project. Your opinion matters to Vitality Health Network and we are pleased that we were able to count on you. Between the initial groundbreaking on June 2nd, 2014 and its commissioning on June 29th, 2020, the expansion of the Dr. George L. Dumont University Hospital Center is happening right before your eyes in 45 seconds. This major project of more than $100 million houses the facility's new state-of-the-art surgical suite and other services. 10 operating rooms, a recovery room, a day surgery and short surgical stay center, medical and surgical intensive care, a sterilization department, physiotherapy and occupational therapy departments, as well as a future receiving area, are among the services included in this new construction. Vitalité Health Network is proud to be able to provide the population with quality care and services. Good morning, my name is Sharon Smitokana and I'm the Acting Vice President of Clinical Services at Vitality Health Network. The expansion of Dr. Georges L. Dumont University Hospital Center was a laborious task that lasted many years, but of which we could not be any prouder of the result. As Dr. Derosier mentioned, in addition to the feedback from patients, we considered the recommendations of our staff and physicians and incorporated them in the construction of this expansion. We have gone from a space of 32,380 square feet to a space of 55,570 square feet. This new square feet footage provides benefits both to our employees and physicians and to our patients. We have now modern, spacious and ergonomic rooms that meet current standards and increase the capacity of the surgery and intensive care department. Cutting edge medical equipment and technology, a surgical short stay unit that increases patient capacity. We have more comfortable family and patient spaces, an environment that promotes collaboration with training centers and facilitate remote medical consultations and training. New units for physiotherapy, occupational therapy, and sterilization department is also added. I'd like to take this opportunity to personally thank everyone that was involved with this project as the engagement and hard work really paid off. Sincere thanks. It is our pleasure to welcome you to this new expansion of Dumont where every effort is made to provide you with quality care. The new facility that, uh, at the Chute du Mans will allow us to uh, perform in a much improved environment. The new facilities allows us to uh, perform the surgeries in a much better setting. The new OR rooms are built to standard. All rooms are um, 
meant to do minimal invasive surgery. All the boom equipments are attached to the ceiling. It's very exceptional for us to be able to work and in the completely new facility. I would say for um, professionals, either um, nurses, anesthetists, surgeons who want to work in a state-of-art facility, our new uh, facility really is a very great place to work. In this department, we receive all instruments, all trays used throughout the hospital to be cleaned, processed and sterilized. Uh, lots of more space, a lot of technology, new technology to be able to track our instruments the amount of new equipment as well. More washers uh, to be able to process quicker, sterilizers to be able to you know, get things done and sent out a lot faster than we used to in the old department. The, the new unit makes everything better just because everything's close. Uh, everything that we need is just right there, it's closer to the patient, we get to focus on the patient because there's just a window between the two of us. We get to see the monitor, but we get to see the patient, and that's the important thing. Because we see the patient right from our station, it gives us a faster access to him. It's more of a personal relation with the patient, one-on-one, -on -one, really. Yes, I'm sure the, the patients will totally love the new uh, settings. Um, new and improved, new colors, new, new, new uh, area, so uh, yeah, it's, it's all good. The benefits of being in the new unit is to have like a fresh start. So now we have brighter colors, more updated equipment, a bit more cleaner space, in which in physiotherapy and in rehab and in rehabilitation is a good benefit because it brings more life to our treatment area and it helps our patients get better faster.